So um, this is Elena's. Are you here, Elena? Nope, uh, not. She's not here. Okay. But she'll so, watch the recording, though. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, this is, a, you know, it's a beautiful painting. It, it's, it's a very, you know, I recognize Elena's work. I mean, she's consistent, pretty consistent with her work. Um, and, um, you know, it, it's an impressionist, it's an impressionist painting, um, you know, for the most part. And you know, this is something that's hard. I mean, I don't really know what she's looking at. I can tell it's, it, it's flowers on a, on a tree or a bush. So uh, this is kind of like I was talking, it's like a little more imaginative. Um, she's kind of like, you know, taking some liberties, I think, but there's nothing wrong with that. But as far as um, uh, the painting goes, it, it's a very pretty impressionistic painting, you know, nice thick paint application. Um, um, if I was gonna say anything that I think that could uh, help the painting, uh, possibly is to like, um, take a few of these flowers and and define them. And if she could, Elena, if you define a few of them, you know, and, and you know, not only down here, but balance it out, because you've got like, these are the most defined here. Can you guys see my mouse? Yes. You can see it? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, you can see, you know, if she could maybe put a couple up here, sort of like balance the composition with some of these darker reds. And um, and then maybe define a few because when you define them and really you know get them a little more accurate, then whatever you put in the background, people are going to read as the same flower. Um, and maybe pump up the darks. So if I squint down, basically the only dark is down on the on the stalk where this 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 branch or bush has volume. So some of these darks can be made a little bit darker. And um, and maybe get you know get sort of like break up some of these darks and hard edges here, um, but that's pretty much what I have to say about this. We can move on. I'll be okay, let me see if I can move on. I'm gonna skip this one because Jill put another picture up. We'll do it at the end. She had a better a better photograph, so I'm gonna skip that one right now. Okay. So this one's Elizabeth. Are you here, Elizabeth? Yes, yes. Yeah, hi, Elizabeth. Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, so this is a charming little painting. Um, you know, there's there's um, no doubt, you know, in my mind, um, what the, uh, you know, what the focal point is. Um, it, it's the arches and, and the building. And, um, you know, the uh, the drawing is very good on, on the building. The perspective looks good. Um, so you got a good focal point, um, you know, sunny day. I can tell it's a sunny day. Um, you know, uh, let me just break away for a minute. I had another page here, uh, just one second, breaking away from your painting for a minute. Uh, just in general, some of the things I'll be looking for during the critique is I'm going to be looking at composition, um, be looking at focal points, looking at drawing, which includes perspective, um, the actual drawing, the shapes. Um, we're going to look at the value, value range, edges, and paint application. All really basic stuff, you know. So, um, so getting back to uh, your painting again, um, you, you know, I, I was looking at another painting you did, and and your style is consistent. You know, at first some of this bothered me. This is watercolor, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I, some of these harder edges, you know, I'm not a lot of the colors, I know nothing about, you know, and I was thinking, you know, that these edges are very sharp, but then I was looking at another painting you posted and, you know, it was sort of the same type of, of style. So this is consistent with your style. And, you know, I, you know, so it's, it's very nice. So, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, it, it doesn't, uh, you know, more often than not, I would say these edges are too hard to bushes, but that's sort of like the way you're indicating it. Um, the only, uh, on this one, um, just a couple of things. I think, I think um, the flag is, if I cover, if I put my thumb over the flag, I, I like the painting even more. So I think the mm. flag could be toned down and his blue is so out of harmony. It's the only blue like that there. 
So um, with flags, you can do a lot less and be suggestive. You don't have to do every stripe, every white stripe, every blue stripe. Um, just like simplify, simplify, simplify the flag and maybe make it, maybe tone it down a little bit is what I'm saying. You know, so it just doesn't stick out. Um, and then another thing is this tree. Now I know there's a lot of trees that go straight up like that, you know, and, um, and that's fine. Um, but it's kind of like, um, I would, I think if you just put up, this is something you put on maybe another tree back here, like in the distance, like a little bit lighter color, just atmospheric, just to fill on, fill in that space a little bit, you know, or maybe, you know, something done with this space right here, mm -hmm. you know? whatever you want to do you can even have another branch coming across it mm -hmm. that, that that might work too you know and maybe a little tree like a little bush right back here or something you know but nice painting very nice thanks okay thanks very much very useful okay so we're on to coon um so really nice painting by coon um you know there's there's you know you know, not much really to say about this painting. I think he pretty much, you know, nailed it. Um, at first, I really, uh, compositionally, this tree that was bent over kind of, I don't know, kind of bothered me. But then the more I looked at it, the more I liked it, you know, because it's kind of like, um, you know, everything's vertical, you know, in, in the trees and this one coming across. You know, it does draw your attention, but it does kind of lead you into the painting. So, I mean, it's kind of like a toss up whether you want to keep that tree or not. If you put your finger over it, and, and, you know, then maybe this tree has to come down a little bit, possibly. Um, um, let's see. Uh, the, the only thing as far as is that I can say about, well, there are a couple of things. This edge right here of the grass where the light meets the shadow is just, it, for my uh, taste, a little bit hard. You see how the nice soft transition right here into the shadow? I would like to see maybe the shadow's too dark have a little more softer transition. So he softens up this color right here and maybe just kind of like, just kind of like, you know, lightens this a little bit or grays it out a little bit. It'll still give the impression of light, but it won't be such a, such a strong light that kind of like, you got to jump over to get into painting. Cause this is, this is where I want to look. And this is important. These sky holes right up here. Um, they're, they're practically the same color as the sky. When you paint sky holes, you want your sky holes to be darker. He kind of did it here, you know, and here. But these sky holes are so big and so hard edge that if he kind of breaks up some of these branches with more leaves, just break up this shape so they're not these big white spots with lines going through it. So like, you know, indicate some leaves coming through, so forth and so on. So uh, other than that, nice job, cool. Okay, Barbara, you're here, Barbara, right? I thought I saw Barbara. Hello, Barbara's Barbara. Here. She's here. Yeah, I, I saw Barbara. Hi, Barb. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I'm here. So, uh, I'm here. Yeah, this, this is a nice painting, and this is Barbara's reference. So she put the reference in, and which which is you know good for me to see, you know, what she was looking at. And so, Barbara, let me ask you a question, Barbara. Um, yes. Is this is this an underpainting? You're you're not finished with this, right? Prop, no, I know I'm not. Which is, and I didn't work on it at all, so that you could. Uh, right. Uh, so you're going you're going further with this. So the color, yeah. you think? Yes, yes. So, so I'm not even going to talk about color because you can see, like you know, again, you know, painting observation. You sort of got this green right here, but yeah. then, yeah. And are you planning? Are you planning on uh, uh, putting the this building in the background? Um, I was undecided about that, but I guess maybe I need to. Yeah. So, so my my in my opinion, yes, I think you should put it in okay. and, and have it grayed out, set it back because it it makes it look like it's in the city and you know and yes, not yeah. park. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. And, and so the the uh, only thing, so you know, uh, a couple things. I think the perspectives. Like all these, and maybe you're going to correct this. I don't know, you know, but okay. but the, right from the beginning, try to get this perspective. You see how? Well, let me go back to the photograph. You see how this is all coming down, yes, I do. and this is all coming down at this angle to the vanishing point, and this yep. line's all coming down like that. Well, oops. Um, 
you'll save yourself a lot of work and aggravation if you focus on that. Don't worry about putting so much of the detail in, but try to get those try to get those um, lines of those buildings going. Okay. In the right and then, um, and this is just, uh, was it your intention to cut off the, uh, the building uh, where you cut off the composition, not to show any like, you know, not to show the the steps or the cars or the streets? I guess it was, right? Because you took the picture. It was, it actually was. And only because um, I was taken with the structure, the architecture mm -hmm. and the, and the values, which, you know, right. I could see probably need work too. Right. Well, okay. So, you know, that's fine. You know, if people do rooftops and, you know, and do, uh, uh, and do, you know, don't, don't show the whole building and, you know, yeah. that's good. But um, the thing is, it's by giving a ground plane uh, to the building, we can see how tall the buildings are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, like yes. so, so I would have liked to see personally a little. You don't have to show the street, but maybe even that car indicated down there. Okay, you know what I mean, just a little something for relationship. Because right now I have no relationship at all. Mm -hmm. I have that tree, you know. But um, so it makes sense. Yeah, I see. You know, so I mean, it's just something to think about in the future, you know. Uh -huh. But this will be a nice painting when you're done. You know, just watch your perspective. Okay, thank okay? you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on. That's a nice scene. Okay, Muriel. Muriel's here. I saw her name someplace. Yes, I, I'm oh, here. I'm here. Oh, this is Muriel, what she was painting. And <laughs> this is when she got started. And this is where she's at right now. And so this is a really nice Muriel. I mean, you really, you know, you caught a you know, you caught a, a slice of the city, you know, um, you guys know I like painting this kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm attracted to these, these city scenes and um, the perspective looks good. This looks good. It's going back to the vanishing point. This is going there. Um, uh, the cars are going this way. You got a lane of a car coming this way. So all good. Okay. The only thing about this painting and if you guys will cover up the red stop sign with your thumb, okay? I don't, but you know, when I covered up the red stop sign with a finger, I, I like the painting even better. That red stop sign is just like too, um, too, 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 too intense, too bright, making it too important, a little bit out of harmony. It's a little bit not shaped quite right, you know? I mean, and you outlined it, but you don't even need to like, do it as you, you just put kind of a red blob in there and a couple of little you know, you're gonna have to sell out stop. You put it if you want. Um, okay. kind of losing your arrow, we're losing your sound. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Hello? It's something is somebody is something running? Not here, not on my end. Hello. Oh, maybe it's at Muriel's end. <laughs> Somebody's doing something. Yeah, something. Sounds like a <laughs> like a coffee maker. Um so I would just tone down this sign and uh, maybe make it a little smaller. Maybe don't put every white line in. Sometimes less is more. That's what I was saying. See how you did this sign up here? Perfect. What this painting isn't about the stop sign. It's about the general scene. Uh, you know, so everybody's going to know that's a stop sign. Just like everybody knows this is a car, but it's only a mark. Everybody knows this is a car, right? Everybody knows this is a person, but you know, because it's in the context of the scene. So if you have the scene right and you have the perspective right, then you can almost put anything in there. So that's why it's so important to get the drawing right, right from the beginning. The drawing is key to plein air painting, you know, the representation of plein air painting. And, and once you get your perspective in Mario, you know, you know, you're an experienced artist, you did it. You know, you did well. Uh, same thing with this white, a little bit too, too bright with the white. I'd even tone this down a little bit because it takes my eye off into the corner of the painting and maybe tone this down a little bit. I want to go here, in here. Okay, that being said, the cars. Um, the cars are, you did a great job on the people. These cars are fine, just looks like a little, but this car is, is needs work. Um, uh, 
it's just it's just it's just not drawn correctly. So and the wheels, the wheels, see how circular the wheels are? Well, this perspective, the wheels would be more like elliptical. So um what I would do, Mario, is um maybe practice painting and drawing some cars, you know, just like you practice eyes and hands on people. Um it doesn't have to be the exact car, but you know, download some from the internet, do a this is like a uh, three-quarter view. I mean, a half view, you got half in the back, half in the front. This is a full back, you know. You might want to do a profile of a car. You know, you might want to look at just, uh, you know, diff different and do them very simply. You know, don't even try to get them to look exactly like, you know, any particular model, you know, um, because this piece right here would be more over here. You know, so this would be, this is like a box. This would be the back of the box. Then it goes in perspective to the side of the box, right? That's how you, that's how you draw a car you know put it in a box okay and i think that's it nice painting thank you so much all right that's true yeah you see this you see this how the wheels are are more or look at this one how, how see this is like um it's wide across here and it's foreshortened right here look how sh this from here to here is like a, a, a quarter from here to here. And these wheels are just slots, right? So practice that angle, practice this angle. You see how this is a box? This is the back of the box. This is the side of the box, right? And then, you know, put your car. So this here, from here to here, is longer than from here to here. So, you know, the drawing, the drawings is, is, is important. Okay, so let's see. Thank you. Okay, so this is, um, I made notes here in all these paintings, so. Is Linda or Karen? Okay, Linda Brown. Linda, are you here? Yes, hi, hi Eric. Linda, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I don't like this painting at all, so have at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's a great little painting, you know, and uh, I was looking at it with Stephanie, too, and she liked it also. Now, this is a little, oh, let me see if I can just, a bit. Oh, wait up, hang on a minute. One second. Um, it's a very delicate, you know, um, how can I put it? It's, it's delicate, it's very soft, and, and I know you're a soft painter, and you know, that's in, that's in the character of your paintings. And maybe that's the way you're gonna paint, maybe that's how you paint, you know? And that's good, so you're, you're painting your truth. And um, so it, it's a, uh, you know, where, you know, uh, everybody has different styles, and so this, this is nice. Um, I, I think it's a pretty painting, and I think there's a few things that I can tell you that could help a little bit. Um, first of all, um, these branches, um, you know, they're very strong marks and very strong shapes, you know, and um, what I would do is, did this tree here have anything, is this the same flowering tree is this tree um no and this tree in the front um was it was early spring and it didn't have anything on it yet okay all right well that that explains it so you know that's a that's a tough one because you know how do you explain <laughs> that this is an early flowering tree and this is a bear tree <laughs> right. you know what i mean yes so, this might be this might be a situation where you're gonna bend you're gonna you're gonna put in things I would if I was painting this painting I would have made this tree the same as I would have put these flowers in this tree you know I would have I would have tried to like mimic this tree somehow you know or put something on it you know maybe put leaves on it you know um, uh, but that being said if you don't want to do that then um, it kind of like, you know, I was going to say cut the, cut this strong diagonal shape with some leaves, but these leaves are the tree in the back. So, so I, you know, this is going to be, you know, up to you. Um, uh, let's see the sun. It's, it's sunny day. The sun's coming this way from right to left as we're looking at the painting. Um, I think you have good shadow, the good shadow stronger at the base. The shadows get lighter as you go back. Um, I think you could define maybe this middle plane. So we got the foreground, the middle ground, and the background plane. I think you could possibly define 
this middle plane just a little bit, maybe lighten it up a little bit, change the value just slightly behind that tree. So you don't have this, this, this shape like this, maybe cut right through possibly. And then maybe when you get down underneath these trees, maybe a little bit darker, you know, a little, you know, slightly darker, but I like, you know, I like the idea you have atmospheric pers perspective going on. You're, you're going bluer, you're going lighter as we go back, as we look in the distance, things get bluer and they get lighter and you're looking through droplets of water. Now, I think this green down here could be a little bit bright and strong. It's kind of like, um, I would tone that down, maybe a, uh, just tone it down with a little red or, you know, mix up a, a green and add a little red. So, you know, more, more like this right here, but not this like really strong, maybe like this right here, but not this pop of yellow right there. Okay. Um, okay. And I, I'd break up this line. You see, it's kind of like even, I'd kind of like break it up and make it more interesting. You know, can we just make it maybe bring the green in here and, and maybe bring some green in here, maybe take this, make this darker back here, maybe lose it completely over here, you know, and, and you can maybe connect this shadow here and here even. These trees are pretty close, maybe make that one shadow. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave it up to you how to handle that tree. <laughs> So I'm not sure, I'm not sure, maybe I would have just, maybe, you know, these were probably what, this is what drew you to the, to the composition, I'm going to assume. And, um, you know, maybe, you know, if you're painting it, if you're going to paint it again, maybe, well, this tree is going to be hard to explain. Maybe you don't need it. You know, maybe this, this would be the end of your composition and you'd have another one of these trees over here. I don't know. I don't know if it's or not, but that's what I got. If I put blossoms on that one, um, I mean, how do I differentiate it? Wouldn't it be too much pink if I did the same kind of? No, blossom? I don't think so. This this whole top area could be pink. It'd be really cool. You okay. know, you can even break the, the break the pink. And and what I would do is this is oil, right? Yeah. So you could change. You could you know it's dry. So you could you know maybe you know change the. Uh, change some of these branches. So, you know, see how these branches are lower a little bit? Uh -huh. Maybe you have another branch coming up here, you know, one coming out here. And then, then you'd have the blossoms coming over this branch and breaking up that branch like you do in this branch. And you'd have, you know, the blossoms, you know, so you have blossoms here, you could have blossoms here, you know, um, maybe a few coming down here. You'd have to play with it a little bit, you know? But yeah, uh, yeah you know, it's only a painting. You know, give it a shot. But I think it would look good. And then you'd have the sky holes too. And it would just be like you were underneath this, you know, you know, canopy of blossoms. That's what you can call it. <laughs> okay. I love it. Um, what about the background? Should I put some suggestions of trees? I only did well, one. I see it better here. So you can, do, you can make them a little bit darker, you okay. know. And, and, and I would say, you know, I take, take, a, take a chance once in a while. I mean, you are, you went darker here. You can be darker over here a little bit too. You know, okay. you know uh -huh. maybe some, you know, a few darks, but yeah, you could, you could just throw some stuff back there, you know, throw a little bush, you know, whatever, maybe another tree coming up and you can give it, make it something interesting. Well, do. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. It's a nice one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is Karen. Is Karen here? Karen is... Um. Yes, I'm here. Oh, hey, Karen. So, um, yeah, Karen, really nice painting, you know, um, yeah, I, I really like this painting. I think you did a great job. Um, one of the things that I like about this painting, and for everybody, this is a good lesson in greens. Um, you know, she really paid a lot of attention to mixing her greens. Do you uh, use a lot of complementary colors in your greens? Yes. Right, which... Which, which I, I do too, and, and which I like. And um, so um, you're mixing some reds or pinks with your greens and, and you're getting these variations. And um, it, it's got a lovely uh, pastoral, um, calm, um, uh, just, just a beautiful little painting. Um, I don't have, I didn't have a lot to say about it. Um, let me see. Um, let me see. Oh, 
So normally, you know, this is a very symmetrical painting. You got this big shape over here, this big shape over here, this line here, you know, these shapes are even, this leads you into the painting. Compositionally, you know, you know, some people might say it's too balanced. Well, compositionally, rules are meant to be broken. It works quite well. And one of the reasons it really works well is this tree. This tree, because it's off center, whether it was off center or not, if it was here, it would be a good idea to put it off center. Was it there originally? Yeah, yeah, it was off center. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> but oh, yeah. if it was center, it's just like a lesson <laughs> to think about that it, it breaks up because it's, it, it's just so important. Everything else is kind of like symmetrical and this tree really just like, you know, stands out nicely. Um, you know, sunlight's coming this way, a little light here. Um, you know, she's got her light on this tree back here. Uh, I think that's, I don't have much else to say about it. Do, um, do you have any questions about it, Karen? Or um, No, I, I guess I, I was concerned that that little off-center tree didn't look enough in the distance, but does it? Yeah, I think, well, I do, because sure. uh, if you wanted to, the only thing if you wanted to do is something to think about, to send this tree back. You see, it's the same value as this, you know, right. and same intensity. If you made this area of lightness, like, you know, somewhere that would be like, kind of cut this shape just slightly, it okay. would separate this tree from the background and, and this tree, you know, it would bring okay. oh, this forward, but you don't want to bring, it'd be very subtle, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. and, and very subtle. And uh, I really like what you did here, you know, with, with the light hitting it, maybe just like a little bit more, more of this over here, you know? So, okay. Yeah, and uh, other than that, it may be, yeah. Yeah, that's it, great painting. Okay, thanks. Okay, Karen. All right. Okay, Maureen. I know Maureen's here. Hi, Maureen. I know she's here. I saw her. I thought she was here. She was here. Hi, Maureen. How are you? Well, maybe she went to get a drink of water. Okay. Well, I'll just talk about this. So, Maureen, she added the photograph to it. So I, I know where these birdhouses are, probably a lot of you guys do, you know, Montrose Harbor. So, you know, she was obviously attracted to birdhouses that I could see, they're very cool. Uh, in the painting, now I know that she wanted to put another painting in, but she sold it. So she wanted to put something in. So I don't know if, are you here, Maureen? So, I, I guess she left, she was here, I guess she left. Okay, all right. Well, I don't know if she's gonna go further with this, or exactly what's going on. I mean, it's kind of like abstract. I sort of like it the way it is, but it's it's hard to know, you know, someone would have a hard time distinguishing what that is without knowing it was the birdhouse. It looks like she maybe put it over here and then she had one over here. It looks like she's playing around with the composition. Um, so, you know, I, I'm just gonna like, um, I, I just think the birdhouses maybe need to be, she can keep them loose and kind of abstract, but maybe define it just, you know, slightly and maybe bring the pole all the way down and maybe have, you know, the, I know in the photograph, this is a bird. See that little, I thought I saw a bird there. I think that's a bird. Like a bird right there. You know, if she put a couple birds in there, oh, she put a couple birds, defined a couple birds, then people would know it's a birdhouse. But, you know, again, maybe she likes it just the way it is. I don't know. You know, I'd have to ask her, you know, maybe this was, this was her intent just to keep it very sketchy and kind of this, you know, dreamscape kind of thing. I mean, real nice job with the buildings back here to fade into the distance. Gives a good impression of, uh, you know, the skyline. So um, it's something that I'd have to talk to her about more. Okay. Okay. So this is Shannon. Hey, Shannon, are you here? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, hey, Shannon, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? Good, good. So, yeah, nice painting. You know, um, nice, nice job on the statue. I mean, uh, for you, those of you who don't know Shannon's work, she's a really good 
figure painter, you know, and, and portrait painter, as well as a plein air painter. And so she nailed the link. <laughs> and uh, nice job on the statue, really good. Um, so, um, let's see. Hey, Shannon, is your show still up? No, just took it down yesterday. Oh, too bad. Really nice show. I was going to tell people we should stop by if they haven't seen it. She had a, she had a nice show at the Power and Chisel. Anyways, um, you know, this is another thing of symmetrical composition. Mm -hmm. You know, even, even kind of a triangular shape, you know, a line coming across. It's very formal, you know. I mean, maybe that's not such a bad idea because, you know, I mean, Lincoln was a president, you know, and he was formal. So maybe there's a, you know, a... Did you have that in mind when you made this composition? It was, uh, it was actually, it was a, a commission and she wanted the focus to definitely be on the, the Lincoln statue. So I, okay. you know, put him in the middle. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so, I mean, I think, I think it was, uh, it, it, well, I'm sure she was happy because it's cool, you know? Um, so anyways, just, just to show you that you can put, you know, people say you shouldn't put your focal point in the, in the center. Everything should be, you shouldn't have things equal distance. I mean, there's all these rules, you know, but all those rules can be broken and, and, you know, sometimes they work, you know, it's very obvious where Shannon wants us to look at the statue, you know, and, um, you know, nice atmospheric perspective, everything kind of steps back, um, you know, the sky kind of like, you know, it's a nice harmony, a uh, color harmony, nothing is really standing out and, you know, jumping off the, uh, the canvas at me. Um, good, good variation on edges. Look at these edges, guys. These are nice edges. It's a good lesson in how to draw trees. You know, very soft, kind of losing edges. You know, this back here, a little bluer. So it's darker here, it gets bluer, you know, and, and she defines this, you know, she, does, she doesn't have to define it with a complete outline here. She just kind of let it fade in, you know, she lost the edge. Lost edges are so important. You don't have, I mean, here she wanted it a little harder. It's harder because it's against the sky hole. Look at her sky hole here. Bright here, sky hole, hole dark here, you know? Bright here, maybe the sky hole could have been broken up a little bit more, but it's fine. Um, uh, you know, flowers. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, you know, it's, there's not much to say, you know I mean? I think, I think she pretty much, uh, you know, just nailed it. I, I just don't know if you could have maybe made this a little bit darker on this side, possibly, giving it a little bit more form. I mean, I see the form there. I see it goes light. There's kind of a half tone there. I mean, there is kind of like, you know, I'm just wondering if there could have been, but, but maybe not. Maybe it's fine the way it is. Um, and if... I think you're looking at it straight on, correct, I Shannon? Am, and the plinth does bother me a bit, so I would definitely what? take some suggestions as to how that could have been better. The what? The what? The plinth, the thing that the statue is on. The this plinth. here? Yeah. Okay. What I see is, I just noticed, this is getting really picky now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super picky. But you're looking straight on, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to say this is the center. This side is even to this side. This side goes out like this. This side needs to come out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. See, if you draw his line straight up here, I think you've got more room on this side and this side, possibly. I think just slightly would help. Mm -hmm. And get that exact shape where it kind of like just a little bit of a curve and then comes down. It's very little, very slight, you know. I think that would do it. I think that would do it. And it might be just, let's see, this comes down here. Try that. Do you still have the painting in your possession? I do, yeah. You could try it. It's up to you, you know. But, I mean, turn it upside down and take a look at it, you know. Or take a piece of tracing paper and put it over it if you don't want to paint on it. Mm -hmm. But you see what I'm talking about right here? Yeah, it is just a, a touch off. Yeah, it's a, just a touch. But that touch on such a small shape makes a can make a big difference, you know what I mean? But um, this, where's your eye level? Your eye levels, you're not as high as this, are you? This is above pretty, you. Pretty much when it's far away, because like I'm looking at his feet like dead on. Oh, you're, this is your eye level right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so this is your eye level. 
then this would be completely pretty much straight. Yeah. I just think I just think maybe just a little more over here. Yeah. But other than that, great, great job. Thanks. Okay, Jen. Okay, so Lori. Okay. I know Lori's here. Hey, Lori. I'm here. All right. All right. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> That's what Scott said to me one time ago. Oh my God, what's he gonna to say to me? <laughs> okay, I saw this painting in Cedarburg. You had it up there, really nice painting. So, you know, seeing it in person is is an, an advantage um, that that I have over other people. Um, but um, even though that design, it was a good photograph of the painting. So really nice job here. I mean, this is like a lot of complicated stuff to paint. And, you know, very suggestive, you know, kind of like settling these buildings into the background. Obviously, the canoe is your is your focal point. Again, right in the center, you know, dead center. Um, fine, you know, it, it's, it's okay, you know, to have a dead center. It works. And um, it's so funny. Stephanie said, said, she looked at this and she said, I painted a painting like that. Maybe she should paint the canoe red. <laughs> I'm thinking... And then we both said, oh, that wouldn't work because it would just like red complementary color. It would just pop right off. It would, it would be beautiful. Jill said way. the same thing. Jill Zilke said the same thing. She said, maybe you should paint the canoe red. <laughs> well, you, you could try it. You can always paint over it, you know. Um, if you're going to paint it red, paint it subtle. Don't yeah. make it too bright, you know, because it's going that all that green is going to intensify the red. All right, here's the little problem that I have with this painting. And to tell you the truth, I didn't see it until Stephanie pointed it out. I didn't get it. This shape right here, okay? okay. I, th I thought, you see this shape here? There's a building right here, correct? Right. And this is a building, this is the front of the building right here. Right, this is, this is in, yeah, it's the front of the building. Right. I thought that this shape was the back of this building. <laughs> I thought that this was a building. Okay. Now that being that being said, fine. You know, now I, I I get it. It's this building. All right. So a couple of things here. You've got light coming through, hitting this building, hitting this building. This building is facing the same direction, correct? Yeah. All right. Even if you saw this building this dark, I, I would switch the values around. Make this lighter here. So it gives you another one, two, three nice shapes bringing you into the canoe. And make this part, um, uh, you know, darker somehow. Maybe this color right here. You know, maybe make this this color and maybe, you know what I'm talking about. Doesn't have to be super bright. And then maybe cut it, cut a little bush in here, even if it's not there. With this bush up here, I, I maybe have a few of these, the, this bush, is this a, this can't be a bush? Is that a bush? It's a hedge. It's a hedge. It's like a hedgerow. Really tall hedge, right? Yeah. Really tall, correct? Like um, well, like, like six feet tall, eight feet tall. Maybe like let's see what that. I don't know, five or something, because it covers okay. that building behind it. You know. Okay, so here's a couple of things you could do. It looks it looks immense to me. Okay, from just looking at the picture. Something you could do, this is up to you, okay? You could cut down this building into this bush right here and bring this bush down to here. Because this is canoe is like, you know, figure this is like, you know, two feet at least. This is probably two feet. So we're at four feet. That's eight feet. This is like a 12 foot bush, you know, pretty much. So just compositionally, you know, I, I haven't seen the reference, okay? But if you, for this painting, if you cut this down, and bring this down a little bit, and then bring this bush down, um, uh, and then bring a little, this is gonna be lighter. So you're gonna bring a little bit of this hedge over here, just a few sprigs, you know? Um, I think that would help. If you don't wanna do that, if you don't wanna cut it down, then then cut cut into the bush. See, it's, very, it's a very straight edge. Uh, maybe make it a little more irregular, you know? And it, it's a tangent with the top of this roof. You, we have to avoid tangents. You see how this goes straight across and it goes right into that. So it flattens out the painting. So how you can solve that, if you don't want to change this, 
make the top of this roof line just slightly taller. That's all. Or if you don't want to change this, make the, the hedge. My, 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 my preference is to make the hedge shorter. Then you'll see the edge of this roof line, because this is going to be lighter. This is going to be darker. I know I'm redesigning your whole painting here, but it's going to help this area. Because this is the only area that, to me, that I see a problem with. This beautiful, beautifully painted, loosely, very suggestive, lots of movement, good paint application, um, good good sunlight on, on the ground plane here, you know, nice strokes here. So that's what I got for you, Lori. Question for you. Pardon me? So I, yeah. I have a question. So um, I, I worked on this since because, you know, then after, well, did yeah. I work on it? Yeah, when, since I submitted it. And so Don's suggestion was, it was actually, I did the opposite was to make those two buildings in the back, make the front of them darker. <laughs> okay. And then the roofs make them, all the roofs lighter. That would work so, too. I mean- Yeah, it's you know sort of the opposite, but one or the yeah. other sort of. Either just, works, but the, 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 here's the key, Lori, the big C word, consistency. Yeah. You want to be consistent, you know? You know if it's dark it, on that side, it's going to be dark on the same side of the other building. Unless there was something creating a, a bunch of shade on this, then this would all be in shadow over here, this little corner, and cast a shadow, you know? So um, I I kind of like, I like it light because everything's so dark, okay? So I like these triangular shapes a lot, you know? And I think if you had like the big light shapes, I mean, you know what? You could do it either way. You know. Yeah, I just because the thing what I, I don't like is that I have these lines going down on the roofs, the roofs. Yeah. And I think they need to come this way. So those I definitely changed. Yeah, you, know, the lines, you don't need to, you don't you know, actually those little lines don't bother me. Bother, just okay. a little indication that they're I don't know what kind of shingles they are, but but I don't I don't mind that, you know, personally. But uh but I mean I love the roof on this one right here. Even if you did that, that kind of that kind of um, address oh. this roof like this with just the simplicity. Sometimes simple is more. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I on. like that. I like so I like the idea of cutting the shaving the hedge. I'll get my hedge clippers out and taking the hedge down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you've got so much going on all over the place with texture and you know and and little shapes and scrapes and scratches and you know pal palette knife work. If you had, if you, if you keep, you know, some of these shapes, you know, just a few of them simple like this, like I really like the way this looks in the painting, you know, just simple. And maybe, yeah, make this simple with all of those lines, just, you know, with the value, just, just flat value. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks okay. so much. All right. Thanks. Okay. okay. This is Deborah's. Deborah, are you here? not here she forgot it was critique night but she really needs that she really wants this critique <laughs> not gonna give it to her. she can't have it if she's not here too bad <laughs> too bad deborah no deborah um deborah i give you the award for most improved <laughs> um I, I really think deborah's come a long way and it just goes to show you she's been consistent she's worked hard for for many years now and and she keeps getting better and um she had a lot of difficulty with perspective and 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 drawing and i'm so proud of her the way that that the way that she handled this house you know and um uh, and i saw something else she did and she's really uh, really coming along you know and uh and same goes for for everybody i everybody really this group has improved you know as a whole overall a lot you know, but but Deborah really stands out to me. I had her as a student, so I know her work really well. You know, when I taught, and um, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I think it's good. Okay. So that being said, there are some things here. You know, with a photograph, you can't tell sometimes what is this light area? Is this a uh, is is it getting like a lot of like you know bouncing light, reflected light from the lamp, the light source that's lighting the camera? You know what I mean? Or is it actually darker than it is? Uh, I don't know, but we obviously know what the we obviously know what the focal point is. Um, uh, 
I love the, I love this barn back here. This is this is just great, you know. And it's it's it, it sends off in the distance. Um, she was smart to keep this a little bit more, you know, bring this forward with with, with more, you know, a lighter value. Um, you know, it looks like she could put more some paint on here. I'm seeing your underpainting color. She could clean that up a little bit. When you do architecture, be very careful to keep your vertical straight and your horizontals straight or, you know, your, your angles. Keep your, keep your lines straight, but especially your verticals because you're, you're going to match them up against the side of the canvas. You know, here her vertical is good. Here her vertical comes in. So I would just straighten that out a little bit. Um, I like the ground plane. It's a sunny day. She could kill this tree just a little bit. Um, the reflections, you know, are fine. Um, the only thing that I, I, I think, and I can't tell by looking at the photograph, is this tree and these bushes. I would like to see these maybe somewhat, um, maybe just a little simplified, for sure back here. Not so much texture in the background and maybe send it back a little bit, maybe soften these edges a little bit and, and maybe just, you know, um, simplify, simplify this background. When you simplify that background, the house is gonna even pop out more. Even this house is a little bit on an angle, you see that? And um, sometimes if you turn your painting upside down, you'll see that your angles are going, every once in a while, if you turn your painting upside down, you'll see your angles are either, are off. You know, they're not vertical. It's very important, make sure your board is level on your on your palette, on your uh, board holder, can't, on your palette holder. Um, I'd like to see this tree just come a little bit into the ground, maybe a little bit darker because it's under shade. The light's hitting, well, the light's hitting this tree. So maybe a little warmer light, a little a temperature change right here. Um, but over that, I mean, that, that that's basically it. I would just like maybe to see a little bit of this stuff simplified, just, just a little bit. Yeah, it's a good little painting. Good job. Keep it up. Okay. Robin, I know you're here. Here I am. Hello, Robin. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robin, nice painting. And, you know, uh, when, when I, I saw the painting, I liked it a lot. You know, I thought it was a nice landscape, um, you know, uh, uh, setting. I saw the painting up in Cedarburg too, I think. And, you know, I saw it up there in person. So my problem with this painting, yes, a couple, a couple things is I feel this is a split composition. Um, by split composition, I mean, my eyes are going bonkers when I'm looking at it. My left eye wants to look at this and my right eye wants to look at that. You know, it's, it's like two compositions at once, you know, and like uh, two, two focal points. And, and um, so let me get back to that in a minute. This is water here, right? Yeah. yeah. So when I first looked at the painting, now, again, I'm looking at it from a photograph. I couldn't tell it was water. I, I, you know, now I, I realize there's reflections there and everything. So it's obvious that it's water. So that's good. And this is a little house by a pond or whatever. So what's happening here is, were you up on a hill? Uh, yeah, we were kind of a little elevated you on were. the other bank, yeah. Was your eye, was your eye level even with this? Mm, maybe, okay, well, <laughs> I really don't remember. Well, okay, if it was, then I don't have any comment on it, right? <laughs> So, because because it looks like this, if this is like your you know this is your horizon this is where the the, the the horizon line. Well, is this a that's is that the water back there? Um, that's the end of the river in the sky. This is sky. That's the river. Yeah. Okay. So, if that's the river, the river is this would be your horizon line. You're obviously not you know. You're not mm -hmm. so tall, you're looking up into the sky up here. I'm gonna assume this is your horizon line. So yeah. that being said, this river looks like it's going uphill a little bit to me. But, um, you know, I guess one way to flatten it out would be to go to go like this, you know, to bring it over here, you mm -hmm. know, more. 
And that, that would, if you wanted it, but if, if you were on a hill and you were actually, if your eyes, if Robin, if her feet were here and her head was here, right? Then, yeah. then it's the correct perspective, but only you know that. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm looking at the photo right now, and I I wasn't on that I wasn't on that big a hill. All right, so if you yeah. look at the photo, if you draw a line vertically, horizontally, straight over to the house, where yeah. does it intersect the house? Does it intersect here? Or no, here? I made I made the uh, either the horizon lines too high or the house is too low. Okay, I'm gonna go with the house. Okay. okay. Because the house and the tree make sense to me. Uh -huh. It was a big tree, wasn't it? It looks like it was a big tree. It was a big one. All right. So what you have is you have um, a relationship here, which is very important, guys. If you're drawing a little person next to the house, that the person has to be in relationship to the house. The house has to be in relationship to the tree. You know, everything has to be in relationship. So this relationship looks right to me. If this, if, let's go with this relationship. Then the, the river's going uphill. Mm -hmm. That means that this, this river's got to go more like this, right about there. Okay. This should be tied to this point, okay? That's, yeah. an easy, that's a really easy fix, okay? Um, that, that, that would help, I think. And then I would maybe close up this space a little bit. Maybe bring in this, this tree a little bit more, you know, or bring some more over here, you know? So it's yeah, not yeah. so big, just a small little opening. They're going to follow the the line, and they're going to see it. Okay, then they're going. Then my eye is going to stay over here. If you divide this into thirds, one third, one third, one third, one third. Okay, you know the rule of thirds. Yeah. Okay, so this is like in the. This would be a sort of in the bottom third, right? I think that's mm -hmm. why I'm having a hard time. This is in in a sort of like in a. Well, not quite in the bottom. Okay, because that that's that's my rec it's a re really a beautiful painting. It's just that you know I'm being really picky here, Robin. <laughs> you know, and and you know just uh, and then I'd bring these trees down a little bit too. You see this tree line, bring this okay. dark down a little bit too. But once you once you do that, I mean it, it's going to be a killer painting because you've got great edges. You've got real nice, real nice composition here. Is that another house? Yep. Yeah, you can maybe define that roof maybe a little bit, but I mean, I love, mm -hmm. I love the way you did it, you know, and maybe some more, some more um, sky in the water, you know, okay. a little more, a little more sky in the water, so I know it's water, you know. Yeah. Now, that being said, hold your hand over this painting, like, like this. So cover this part of the painting from here to here, and come down. Mm-hmm. You do that. Yeah. What do you think of that composition? Better. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, I did it. I did it. You know, I, I mean, I can do it. You know, with my, and you know, maybe even bring it over, make it more of like a horizontal. Bring those trees on the top over. So it's okay to have that. You know, that exit. But what's happening, guys, is I'm going out of the painting. We don't want to go out of the painting. We want to stay in the painting. We want to stay in this house. So the, the, the viewer looks at this house, goes down here, boom, gone, on to the next painting. So, okay, that's that's what I got. Okay, thanks, Cyril. Okay, Robin, it's really, really a beautiful painting. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so now we have, let's see, we have Robin. Deborah, are you here? Who? Who is this? Deborah, is Deborah here? Deborah. Deborah, uh, what's your last name? Uh? Oh, Deborah Page Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, she's not. She's not here. No. Okay. So he, this is a good. This is a good. Um, so she did this. Uh, this scene, basically the same sort of. Oh, she. Oh, okay, she's looking down Armitage Avenue. All right. So look at this painting. Look at the scene. And now look at the painting. It's compressed. She 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 compressed the the whole scene. I mean, she got it all in there, you know. Um, but I think it would have been better, uh, Deborah. I'll speak to you. Would have been better um, next time you go out. 
um, take a little more time in, in getting the drawing right. In other words, um, figure out, okay, measure from here to here, and how many of those go from here to here to here? So, so from here to here is one measurement. It might be, I don't know, one, maybe three times as wide, something like that, two and three quarters. And here it's it's like maybe like maybe one and three quarters. This has to be much wider, you know, and and that's you know, so you really had the right idea and you really had it going good here. I love all this, how you're going back, really nice atmospheric perspective, you know. But but if you're gonna um if we're gonna draw um you know cityscapes and if this was your intention, fine, but if we were trying, if you're trying to get it um, to look more like the actual scene, then we got to take a little more time getting the uh, dimensions right. And see this car, it looks like it's going uphill. That's because she, she forced, okay, let me put it over here. You see how this line right here, this line is about almost flat, it's perspective line. From here, back to the vanishing point. On her painting, her, it's almost at like a 30 degree angle or something like that. It should be more like here, like that. This should be much wider. And then the car would be flat. But because she forced the perspective, the car looks like it's going uphill. She had, she had the horizon line right. She just had this angle incorrect. And this width, this width, you know, too too narrow. So what she probably did is she probably painted this, this, and this. Then she was committed, right? Better, better that we all take our time because this is going right back to the vanishing point. Boom, right back to here. This should come over to here, over to here. Let me go back to the photograph. This comes from here over to here, almost flat. She has it coming down like this, see? So um, love the people. I love the tops of the buildings. I love the stoplights. I love this. Great job on the sign. Got a lot of good things going on with this painting. Uh, this here, if you go back to the, so perspective is key in doing building. See how this line comes down to the vanishing point? This is, she's looking straight here. This is where her eye level is, the vanishing point. This comes straight down to the vanishing point. On her drawing or painting, she's going up here. It looks like she's on looking at the building from the second floor. This should come down like, like this. Okay. So the thing to take away from this, Deborah, is just take your time in the beginning and get these measurements right. Make sure you, you know, you know if you don't know how to measure, um, email me. Um, you know, um, and, and I, I can tell you or or just ask anybody, uh, I, I think you do, you know, holding a brush and putting your thumb out and taking a measurement with your arms straight out and your brush straight up and down. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this is Pam H. Pam, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Pam, how are you? Good. Oh, okay, so Pam, this is a nice, colorful, you know, happy painting, I would say, you know, and, and I know the street corner you painted, and I can see why, what attracted you to it. I, wait, do you, I think you supplied a picture, yeah. So, um, yeah, that building, I mean, it's just great with the, the signs, and, you know, the awning, you know, it's really pretty, you know, and it's a little slice of life. Um, is this, is this oil or acrylic? It's oil. Well, okay. So, um, there, there's a lot of things. I think um, you could benefit from, um, and you got your perspective pretty good. I mean, this is going down to the vanishing point. This is this is going down not as quite as far. I think you've got the sign going well, so that's all good. Let's see the other sign. You, you know, the other, oh, okay. See this sign right here? That sign's coming straight across and you've got it coming straight across. So that's all good. That's all good. 
the sign is a little bit lower. So you have the sign here, then there's space in between, and then there's this cornice. And the, on your painting, you have, you have um, maybe not as, I think the sign should be down a little bit, let me see, not quite, okay, a little bit. Okay, so I think you could benefit by maybe, um, so simplifying some things. So instead of painting, um, you know, the all every little leaf, you know, try just massing in a shape. Same thing with the with the trees. Okay, so if you look, if you if you squint, uh, I don't know if you know how to squint, but um, you close your eyes so you kind of like blur things out and you only see the big shapes. And if I squint, um, this all looks like one big shape, and this is a darker value right in there. So look for your dark values. That's what's going to hold the painting together. So it's dark in there, it's dark there, it's dark there, dark there, dark there. Okay. On your painting, you know, you're kind of like, you know, kind of breaking down the shape, you know, before you really have, you know, have that that area defined as far as value is concerned. Uh, are you following me on this? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I would say try to simplify. Another thing that will benefit you is when you, run, run, you, when you run your brush, you're running your brush straight down the pole. Try, try not to take one stroke down. That's very difficult to control. Try taking like, you know, try, try doing like a lighter, like a, a little stroke there, a little stroke there, a little stroke, a little stroke there. Maybe take a, a stroke across the form, like break up this form, come across form. A lot of times on these long, this looks better here. But don't be afraid to paint across the form. Same thing on the tree. Paint across on those cylind cylinder type shapes. Okay. <laughs> and then try to keep your try to keep like see how um, this is kind of like curved and this is like curved and up. Stephanie, you know, she used to say years ago she used to call me on this. So you know, my painting. She said, "Oh, your building." You know, Stephanie was an architect, so she's really knows her buildings. You know, she did a lot of drawing, you know, buildings from college. And uh, she said, oh, your shapes are wonky, you know. <laughs> so try not to be, when you're doing architecture, like see this, I and mean, this was kind of like, this is a very important thing. Uh, this was done very quickly. Take your time, slow down, you know, try to get that, try to get that shape clean. You know what I mean? Try to get this clean. Okay. Try to get, um, um, try to get this as one big shape of, of a green, like a darker green, then maybe pop in a couple of red holes, like sky holes, but they'll be red in this shape, you know what I mean? And then you can put okay. the brighter leaves on top of it. Same thing here, go darker here, and then put the bright on top of it. So, I mean, it's just, okay. it just, it just something that takes time. Also, now this is where you took liberty. So, I mean, did you see that as bright blue, or did you just want to put the bright blue in there? <laughs> I wanted it to stand out. Huh? I wanted it to stand out. Okay. Well, the way it could stand out is, yeah, color could definitely make it stand out. So if that was your intention, that's great. You know, you, you, this is something that would be up to you as an artist. You can do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? But um, one way to make things stand out is nice hard edges. Right, and if you wanted to keep it blue, that's fine, but make that edge nice and hard and sharp, and then maybe do like, um, oops, like, like a little white line around there or something. But, um, yeah, I, I think, um, maybe, uh, because everything's so uh, bright, maybe just, um, um, maybe just gray, um, I, I would just say value and edges, you know. Is, is something for you to work on. Okay. Okay. So good job. Okay. Keep, keep it up. Bye. Okay. Okay, right. boy. Okay, so we're on to the next one. Mark. I saw Mark was here. Are you there, Mark? I am. How are you, Earl? Mark, how are you? Good to see you again. Nice to see you. It's a beautiful painting, Mark. And Thanks. um your paintings are really, you know coming along great, you know, you're making great strides. And, um, you know, for all you folks that I was talking about edges, um, but there's a lot of, just looking at this painting, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of nice variation 
you know, um, in, in tone and um, you know, we can tell where the sun's coming in, um, you know, atmospheric perspective back here, the trees get a little bit lighter. These edges might be able to be a little bit, well, those, are, those trees in the back are fine. Oh, no, that photo here. I said was a bad reference. It was, this, I always do this, I'm done painting. I go, oh shit, I gotta take a photo. So, yeah. Yeah, well, you don't have to take a photo. Well, if you didn't take the photo, I'd have nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good idea to take photos. You know, it's good to know what you're looking at. And, you know, and uh, so this is a, I mean, this is a lighthouse. Uh, is this Evanston or no? Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, iconic scene, uh, real nice use of the light, you know, with the pinks. I really like that. I really like, like the way you did the trees back here. Um, you know, for those of you who I've been talking about darks, there's a lot of variation in values here. Light, you know, mid-tones, real dark, real dark, you know. So good variation. That's what makes a painting interesting. If everything is bright, then it's not as interesting because we don't, you know, nothing really stands out. You know, if everything is, is dark, the same, dull, the same thing. So, you know, you can really... Um, but by having this variation, you know, this takes a lot of control, but, you know, Mark's been painting a long time. So, um, you know, he's able to pull it off. But, you know, those of you that haven't been paying a, a good time, this is a good painting to, you know, you know, take a photo of, or, you know, when you look at the rewind, some of these paintings where people have been painting longer, keep them around, you know, and look at them as references, you know. Um, Errol, okay. yeah. did I the trees above the building darker to push it forward there's a bunch of trees that were really getting hit by some light but mm. oh. I can't no, I think I, yeah, the way your painting sits right now i think it looks great okay the, the trees don't bother me the only thing i was going to say is your ellipticals could be uh check your ellipticals because you're looking up if you look at the photograph you really see it you see how how you're looking up okay. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It goes up, they get even more elliptical. So, you know, they're, they're straight here at eye level, and then they go more, 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 more. And yeah. yours, yours, I mean, I'm being real picky here. You know, no, super. I, you're right. And, 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 uh, and this is almost like you're looking at it straight on. You're right. Yeah. I don't change it. I don't think no one's going to call you out on it. It's just, okay. and you yeah, have this one like this. Yeah, this one like this. You did get more up here. But there was too much of a jump from this elliptical to that elliptical. Right. In actuality, I think this elliptical should be more, you know, um, more, more like you're seeing the bottom of the plate, and this one should be more, you know, like you. There's a plate there. Now, here's here's my here's my major thing about this painting. If I didn't see the photograph, no problem. Okay, it's still no problem. It's a great painting, and people are going to love it. And, and 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 no problem. But, but. <laughs> compositionally, this building, you know, whether whether you wanted to or not, is is to me too tall. You see, yeah. because the building, if I come across, it's about a third of the way up, and I think you went like more than a third. You know, you know what I'm saying? That I think yeah. the roof of the building should be down here. Now, what happens when you have the roof of the building down here? What happens, you know? Makes the White House taller. That's right. Makes the White House taller, right? Yeah. So and then maybe that was a conscious choice. I don't know, you know? But No, but, that, oh, shit, I've gone for four hours painting this building the wrong height. <laughs> well, it's just, it, that's in the blocking stage, you know what I mean? It's just it's just something to keep in. Like I say, no one's going to say anything. Some of right. them you're going to love the painting wherever you show it, you know, but in the future for your own reference, this gets yeah. back to relationships. Okay. Yeah. How tall, how many of those go into from here to here? How many of those go into from here? Yeah. To here? So important, yeah. you know, in, in my opinion, if you're going to paint representationally, you know, it's going to, it's going to do, do you well. And then the person, if you put a person there, he's going to be about this big. So he's right. really, really short and in here he'd be you know it just make the lighthouse look a little bit taller yeah so that, that that was my main let me get hang on it's getting a little dark my office okay 
can't read my notes. <laughs> I think yeah. that was it. I think but, that was because I was a little closer when I painted the first time with uh, a couple other folks, but uh, still, it doesn't change the problem statement. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, let me see what I, what I had just a minute. One second. Or, oh, here it is. Um, uh, It's a little bit of a split composition, just a little bit. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I'm looking at both things equally, but I'm not sure if it really bothers me. I mean, I'll, I'll take that back. I think it's just the fact that it, it's just a little bit too high. But again, I wouldn't know if I didn't see the photograph. Um, yeah. Running that dark line to yeah. the uprights on the building. So then I mean, they bring you up into the lighthouse. You know, I saw that after I painted it and thought, well, I got to correct that. And I brought that dark line up to the building and that, you know, that shadow. And then those two uh, columns point up to the lighthouse. So it carries you up. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice painting. It's really nice. Good job, Mark. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, you too. Okay, so we'll go on to the next one. This is Priscilla. Are you here, Priscilla? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, hi. hi how, how are you? Good, I, good. How are you? Good. I love this painting, Priscilla. Really? I mean, yeah, <laughs> I think it's like just a sweet little painting. I mean, this just goes to show you what <laughs> you could just pick out a little, just a little something, you know? I mean, this is just a little piece of a stream, you know, with a little like, runoff. And it's just such a charming little painting, you know? Um, uh, why did my you. screen go dark? Hang on a minute. My screen went dark. At first, I didn't like it. But after I step away and come back again, yeah, I was thinking, not so bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. And, and uh, I'm looking at it on my, actually on my computer. Um, yeah, no, I think it's, I think you, I think you nailed it. And um, I mean, the brushwork of, of these flowers and just suggestive, and just very wispy and very loose, you know. Um, not everything has to be so defined, you know, with hard edges. And the movement, this this painting's about movement, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the movement of, of the water and going over the falls. Um, the only thing that I have to say about it is just the, the one comment is, mm -hmm. I just feel that this corner, the way this is squared off, I, I don't know. Because this goes all this goes off right here, right? It's like a right. little water, correct? And and I you yeah. indicate that's fine. Maybe like here to break up this space, a few little, you know, I don't know. You, you know what I'm talking about? That this is kind of yeah. square. You know, yeah. it's like it's kind of like a machine edge in a very organic painting, and and maybe this edge right here is just a little bit a little bit hard. You know, so maybe just like maybe break up some of that. I would say if you're going to work on this a little bit, I mean, I love what you did here, this here, this here. Maybe do something like that down here. I'm not sure exactly, but what maybe don't do anything. But but that's really the only thing. But the way this is all done and the harmony of the colors is great. Um, do you again, do you mix reds with your greens. Yeah. Yeah. So Thank you're you. you're you're putting the complementary color in your greens. You know, more and more, me personally, I've been using more and more complementary colors. Uh, for some reason, I didn't know, use a lot of them. I don't know. Maybe I was, I wasn't aware of it, but I'm making a conscious effort to do it, especially on my yellows. I'm putting a lot more purple into my yellows, and it's it's really um, it's really giving more more of a naturalistic uh, painting. I like naturalistic greens. I don't like to me personally, my own personal taste. I don't like the, 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 the greens straight out of the tubes. Uh, do you mix your own greens, Priscilla? Do you mix your own greens? Yeah, yeah, mostly. But sometimes I just uh, start with set green and that add is. a little bit other color. What color? What color would you um, uh Like um, burnt sienna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. To get, to get darker green. To yeah. get dark uh -huh. green and... Uh, and white, uh, and white too, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think, 
with greens, I think it's, uh, it's for my taste anyways, and everybody, you know, um, you know, Andy Warhol would disagree with me. <laughs> you know, he was like, you know, right out of the right out of the paint can kind of guy, pop art. But um, but for the stuff that I like, which is more tonal, and if you like tonal paintings, um, you know, use uh, use your complementary colors. And I would say with the greens, always have a little red in your green. That was taught to me years ago by a guy. I can't remember who it was. Might have been Michael Workman. Nice painting. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so now we are on to Dorothy. Dorothy. Hello. Mason. Hey, Dorothy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So this is a Dorothy Mason. This is a nocturne. Yes. Okay. So, well, let me first say that that it's really a nice impressionistic painting. I like the paint application with the photograph. I can really see, I can really see the paint strokes, you know, and the thickness of the paint. And you're not afraid to apply paint, which is really like a, uh, you know, it, it's a good thing as long as you start off thin and build up your layers of paint. You don't want to start off thick. You want your thickest strokes on at the end, of course. Um, so this was a nocturne. You know, I wish I could see a photograph of this because if I didn't know it was a nocturne, I don't think I would think it's a nocturne. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I you know. I, it, I looks know. Like, it looks like a daytime painting. Now, let me just say that you have, you have a couple of choices here. Maybe you want to, do you have the reference photo for this? I do. Okay, so you could, um, you could take that reference photo and you can make glazes, you know, make up some transparent colors like, uh, you know, darker colors. And anyways, you, you maybe make it darker where it needs to be darker. I'm sure the sky wasn't that light, you know, and, and or the water that light. Um, Probably not. Yeah. So, so you could use glazes and knock it down, you know what I mean? And try and work off that. And that would be a good exercise for you. Nocturnes are not easy. Or what you could do is this turn is it in. This nocturne. Right, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> good, yeah. And no, you know, right? <laughs> going out there is a challenge, right? It's scary. Right. You know, and I it. forgot my light, so. Oh, my God. Okay, so you forgot. So what do you use for lights? I just kept painting until I couldn't see anymore. Oh, you kept painting. Oh. So, that's so it isn't I, really super I, dark. Wait, wait up. You kept painting. So underneath your light, it looked probably dark. Or let me think about this. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that because I'm not sure how to analyze. It, it wasn't super dark when I yeah. when I finished okay. it. it was more okay. When you started, it wasn't super dark. Right. Right. So, but it was super dark when you finished. So when you do nocturnes. You have to, I mean, I haven't done a lot of nocturnes, but the way to do them, in my opinion, is you go out there and when when it's light and you get your drawing in, you get your buildings, yeah. you get your general values in, and you got to have a light for, for next time. I know, I have one. I just forgot it. <laughs> yeah, I know what it's like. And then, <laughs> then um, so you have your light and everything, you know, next time. And you get your, you get your draw, you get your painting in, you start when it's lighter. And then, then you start adjusting your values as they get darker, you know. So, um, and uh, so it's all about values, nocturnes. You know what I mean? So, so I, that that's what that's what you know. Without seeing it, you know, that's what I would say you have to do. Now, if you want to turn it into a daytime painting, you could do that too. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I would turn it into a nocturne. I would stay with your reference. Okay. See, it'd be a good experience for you. I mean, it'd be a fun real project. How yeah. can I make this? In? So start off with thin, transparent glazes. You know how to make a glaze? Yep. Okay. So start off with your very thin washes and then, you know, see where you're at. And then once once the glaze, and maybe use a little gout kit so it dries quick. And yeah. with the glaze. And then once it, you know, tacks up, then you can start coming in with thicker, darker paint where you need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, and uh, then, uh, yeah, send me a picture of it. I'd, I'd like to see a picture of what you do with this and what your reference looks like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, send it to me, errolgemail.com. Right. You can go to my website. Uh, find it. No, Eric, what is it? Uh, Errol, just look up Errol Jacobson and you can find my website. In, okay, I will. My, yeah, it's errolgemail.com. Okay. I'd, like I'd like to see it, I'd be curious. 
Okay. Okay, good job. Congratulations on your first nocturne. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we have Dorothy. That was Dorothy. Molly. Yeah, hi, I'm here. Hey, Molly, how are you? Uh, good, I just joined. I made it in time. Yeah, good. So Molly, you this is watercolor, right? I think it's it's gouache. I'm having a hard time with it though. Okay, why? Okay, so I don't know much about gouache. I haven't done a lot of gouache, but I've done a lot of cityscapes. So it doesn't matter what medium you're working in. Um, there's some things that I think um, we can work on. Uh, so here's the photograph. There's the photograph. I can't tell. See, it looks different in this than it looks in your, oh, sorry. This looks like really on an angle, but in the photograph, it doesn't look on an angle. Is it as much on an angle? Is this, is this pretty accurate? Yeah, I took it um, straight on with my phone this morning. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Okay. So, um, just just be aware that um, this is a drawing issue. Okay, compositionally fine. You know, this is a nice, you know, nice, you know, T-shaped composition. You have your T right here. This, this, this. I think you could. This is too much of an angle going downhill. This should be level. You know, I mean, unless you want it that way, it's it's more it's more um, it's more uh, imaginative this way. But but if if you if you're going to go with trying to, you know, um, portray what's in front of you, um, do you see how it's on an angle? Do you see that? And then if you yeah. look if you look at your if you look at your um, I know this is a little bit on an angle. Maybe it is a little bit on an angle. You were standing over, you were standing, are we standing kind of kitty corner from it? Uh, you were across, yeah. You were across the street. You were in the middle of the street. So, yeah, and you, was you had a fourth. So, it probably was a little bit on an angle. You know, all right. So, you were a little bit on an angle. It just looks to me like it's maybe just slightly too steep. I think what's bothering me about this and what could help you next time is, okay, you got this T, okay, right here. Then you got this space from here to here and you got this space from here to here. It's like too equal. This is one of those instances where I don't think it's serving you well, you know? Um, um, I'm not sure. I hate to be so indecisive here. This angle is about, if this is a correct angle, this is straight right here like that. So that's that space right there. So that's like about maybe a 15 degree angle. And this is about a I guess your angle's right. I apologize. The angle's right. Okay. <laughs> Forget about the angle. Your angle's fine. <laughs> but these angles are coming in. They're not vertical. Okay. It'll, it'll pay you with your, with your cityscape. Keep your verticals vertical. Okay. Really work hard at doing that. Do you, are you doing a drawing first? Briefly. Okay. Briefly. Okay. So when you apply your paint, um, try to keep your, you know, and with, and with gouache, you, you can really get those big shapes in. Um, it, it's not that hard because it dries so fast, right? So, um, so even if you painted it at an angle, you could have came back in and straightened it out. So try to keep your, your vertical straight and try to keep your lines like a little more, like, like, like more, more intentional. Like, you know, like I talked about wonky lines. You know, this is a piece of steel. I think it would look, look, you know, like he did pretty good right here, but then, and even here is pretty good, but up here, 
it's kind of like wide and then it gets narrow. So pay attention to, um, you know, and this is a little bit on an angle. It, it means a lot when you have, and this is even on more of an angle, try to keep these, you know, all on the same, same angle. You did a pretty good job with this pulse, but even this pulse, according to the photograph, is a little bit of, of on an angle. Um, um, also, you did the same thing Barbara did, um, where you kind of decided to um, um, not paint this, this street, but only paint the um, kind of the bottom of, of the L tracks, you know, what was your decision? What was your thinking in that? Um, I started with the, um, the, the platform, the L platform, that white bar in the middle uh -huh. and kind of built, it grew out from there. So it was really just when I ran out of room. Okay. So let me ask you a question. I mean, and don't answer, don't let me influence you. Okay. If you had a chance to do it over again, would you in include the street more and try to get you know more of those cars in a little bit? Yeah, I think that would be fun. I think it would be fun to kind of um, pull out that perspective right. more like a fish right. eye situation. So here's what I think could really help you a lot. You know, I would say be a little, a little more. I would say don't start with the middle bar because then you're committed. And you yeah. are, you are committed, you know, I mean, uh, figure out, lay out your painting uh, in pencil, maybe, um, and you may maybe get definitely where you want, where you want your, your big shapes, you know, where you want your street, you know, where you want your car, um, you know, so forth and so on. I'm running out of that juice here, so I want to get going, but, but I think that that'll help you a lot next time. And then keep your things verticals vertical. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. I see what's bothering me. See, this is on an angle and this is on an angle. Now, if these were straight, that would make more sense. Okay. Because in real life, they're straight, but this is on an angle. Okay. I'm going to move on. Take care. Thank you. Okay. So, last painting. Jill. Okay. Are you there? Hello, Jill. I'm here. Hey Jill, uh, I know you, you sent a new photograph, you know, and uh, I wish you didn't do that. I had a lot of things to say about the original photograph. Well, you know, this one doesn't look so bad on my computer. It just looked really horrible. So, oh, but the, yeah, this is the new one, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, the I other know one was just I, really bright. I know, and I take pictures of my paintings sometimes. They look just, they don't, they look much better in person. I mean, they look just, yeah. just you know, terrible things to them. I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is really nice, you know, the uh, um, printer's roll tower, iconic. Um, some of the things I was going to say on this photograph, they, they, they look much better. On your other photograph, it, uh, the, uh, this is very purple, something was very purple, and now it's more mm -hmm. muted. Um, so we have a good focal point, we know what we're looking at. I think the perspective is really good. It's consistent. All your windows are going at the same angle, going on the same angle there. Um, it's drawn well. I mean, this is a really nice painting. Um, excellent painting. Um, I think that by looking at it, the, um, you know, something to think about is with skies, you know, as skies get, they're darker at the top and then they get lighter, 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 right? So more intense blue or whatever color you're using, lighter, lighter, lighter. You sort of did that here. You know, I see, see where you, you did that. Um, but you kind of like have a break here. It's like you didn't finish it over here a little bit. Um, maybe like bring some of this lighter over here. It would pop this out a little bit more. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's, I don't have much more else, much to say about this. I mean, I think it's, it's a nice job. Maybe the tree could be, I don't know, it's nasty and fine. I mean, I love this line right here. Great. Oh. Yeah, Lori had mentioned, and I agree with her, that over to the right of the clock tower, a couple buildings over there's like a, on the, you know, like an alizarin part of the building, <clears throat> which I don't think should be red. I should blew that down a little bit more. I'm not sure if you see what I'm seeing, but. Hey, Errol, did we lose you? 
Was that a dramatic exit? Yeah. So everybody, I'm everybody can hear me talk here, folks. Errol, <laughs> Errol, Errol got cut off. <laughs> no, I made a dramatic exit. I wanted to make a point. <laughs> so can you hear Errol? Then you can maybe continue with Jill's critique. A little. He sounds far away, though. I think I was. I think I was finished with Jill. I. I think I thought. Yeah. I, I, um. Oh, wait up! Wait up! Wait up! Let me see. Can, can you hear me, Lori? I can hear you. Can anybody else can hear Errol as I'm holding him up? Yeah. Pardon me. Yes. Let me try that. I can hear him. Hear him? Okay. Uh, let me just get but to my. Fading. Okay, share screen. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I think so, Jill. The um, I can't point it, but the canopy, the green canopy, hanging off the uh, painting on the sort of left center there. You know, the big canopy. Yeah. I think that the it looks to me like the the piece that's on the side is going is out of perspective it should be going downhill instead of going uphill you know what i mean the bottom piece the top piece goes to the second story windows and the bottom piece should go more down towards the top of the red doors you know what i mean towards the vanishing point so like the right corner should be lower or higher Mouse, Lori? Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Lori? Okay, so you said below it. down that here. Move, move over to the left of it. Here. People, come, that piece should be more pointed down. Oh, I see. Yes. You see the look at look at the horizontal. Look at the red door. Put your mouse in the red door, Lori. Right here. No, the door that I'm of the building. So we're on the side of the building. I can only see yeah. this one, right? Am I looking yeah, at yeah. Right? Yeah. the middle window? Middle window of it. Top of the middle window. Okay. Top of the middle window. Am I Keep there? Up, up, up. up, up. up. Okay. Up. Oh, down, down, oh. down, down. <laughs> down, 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 down. That's the door. Go down one inch. Go down one inch. Go up a half inch. Go up a half inch. Yeah, go to the top of that shape, that dark shape. Here. Up further, further, a little further. I don't know what my, I, my battery died. Anyways, uh, you know, do you see how that that door is going down to the left at a, at a, to the vanishing point? Yes. And the windows. Look at the go up to the windows, Lori, on the second floor. Oh, here Those we go. Windows all go down to the vanishing point. Right. Now we right. got it. Yeah. So now that green of that awning, that piece there should go down. Oh. oh. But it's on the other wall. This is no, on it the make any front. Uh, oh. I, I think, I, well. I'll have to look at the reference. I think should, let me ask the architect, Steph. <laughs> Don't you think this piece should come down like this? No. That piece comes over like that? Well, I, I, I can't tell what's going on down here because they didn't show the bottom, but it's possible it could be like that. All know. right, we're gonna we're, we're we're gonna pass on that comment. I gotta see a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nice painting. Nice job. Okay, thank you, Errol. So, Errol, thank you so much. People have asked if um, they could send you some of the corrections. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I, I, yeah, I, I, I can take a look, you know, they want to send it to my email. Okie doke. Okay, yeah. you're, you're getting mine. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so okay. much. Thank yeah, you, you so much. Okay, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Too funny. Thank okay, you. everybody. The, the the links are up for um signing up for Saturday. So if you haven't and you want to go, please do so. And uh see y'all. Have fun. Bye-bye. When, when are the links?
What? What, do you, what do you mean the links are up? So if you go to our Facebook page, there's an oh. event right. There's an okay. event right to sign okay. up for Saturday. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you okay. so much. Yeah. Okie dokie, everybody. Bye bye. So let me read everything in the chat. Nope. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Going to Brit Box now, Barb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye.